In February, in Gostiny Dvor, the fifth Russian investment construction forum was held. Representatives from power, science and business discussed issues of construction development. Mikhail Men elaborated upon the questions received from businessmen, which will be included in the agenda of the State Council in April. He said that blocks of issues on housing construction, state support, technical regulation and standard design will be covered. Price formation will also be focused upon the Ministry of Construction now preparing a draft bill to be adopted in the next session. The minister added that issues of education in the construction industry and the condition of construction materials will also be discussed. Taking the floor, Sergei Lovkin, head of the Moscow Urban Development Policy Department, stressed that the construction industry brings 12% of all tax in the country's coffers. Yelena Nikolaeva, first deputy of the chairman of the State Duma Committee on Housing Policy, added that every ruble invested in the industry brings 11 rubles back. That is why the deputy suggested that citizens invest their savings in construction. According to her, Russians have 23.2 trillion rubles saved up, but per capita the sum decreases to half a million rubles. But are there reliable mechanisms to improve housing conditions? According to Oleg Betin, Deputy Minister of Construction, Housing and Utilities, the Ministry should not only keep an eye on the volumes of construction, but also develop cooperation and laws protecting the rights of co-investors. Elena Nikolaeva also commented on her initiative for creating a law on rating agencies in the construction sphere. Their activities being brought into compliance with federal legislation will create an additional defense against corruption. Speaking of about rating agencies, the World Bank has assessed the construction business profitability in Russia. In spite of the positive dynamics, Russia remains at 119th place ahead of the Republic of Congo regarding the number of bridging procedures 19 and the number of days needed for them 263. Sergei Levkin promised to abolish at least eight procedures. One of the main obstacles to the industry's development is the bad correlation and even contradiction between codes and laws. Marat Kusnulin, deputy mayor of Moscow on urban development gave an example of land and air codes which are not correlated. At the same time, the Ministry of Construction is continuing its work on technical regulation systems reform started last year. By 2017 it should be revised and amended and will comprise of 380 documents. Igor Kolibin, director of Scientific Research Institute for Foundations and Underground Structures, remarked that the industry had at last returned to the practice of updating technical documentation every five years. But researchers have raised the alarm. Survey work cost norms are not defined by law, and it is not clear why they are set at half percent of the cost of construction. According to Nikolai Alexienko, member of the Association Council of the National Union of Surveyors, the country loses 200 to 150 billion rubles annually due to careless engineering surveys, so a struggling economy is making losses. Another serious the serious problem is tough incompetence. It is necessary to strictly control the qualifications of constructors and to create the conditions of their education. Now GK organized a roundtable discussion. In his interview with our magazine, Yanis Kraulis, head of the Knauf group, says spoke on the lack of measures of state support for full-scale import replacement in the construction materials segment. He stressed that the state should analyze which enterprises need support most. For example, Russia does does not have its own production of chemical additives for construction materials, and there is a great potential here. Yanis Kraulis also added that construction is a mirror of the economy. If construction grows, the economy on the whole grows. Many regions presented their construction potential at the forum. They also showed their readiness to build for the fuel and energy complexes and for river tourism. They demonstrated the use of 3D printers and photogrammetic survey with further 3D simulation of constructed objects. This was the fifth Russian investment construction forum, Peter Laring Construction Rule.